Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Alex and Gio from Rad Tide, and we're here today to look over the Alpha Free Vision. So we're going to go through this, let you know what we think, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Boom. 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 Yo, anyway, like we were talking about, Alex, we're going to be reviewing this vision from Alpha Free Studios. Uh, Alpha Free Studios is a fan art company. Uh, I managed to get this piece off another collector in the UK. Um, you know, it was something that I was sort of semi-interested, found it on eBay and all that. There's, it's actually only 50 edition size on this. It's a proper fan art piece. Um, and yeah, so we'll go through you it and take a look. posters and stuff? Yeah, you get a little card and you get an art print. Okay, cool. But they're all in the box. I don't know, we're just asking. So, and it actually does light up as well. So like, um, if you was to plug it in, which I'm not going to do, but if you was to plug it in, his hand lights up, this part of his foot lights up, around there lights oh, up, and, 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 and through the cape lights up as well. I've got pictures, I'll share them so That's you can nice. see. Yeah, yeah. It is actually a really nice light up because it's like a glowing, like a yellow. But where, like where the, the phases, yeah. Yeah, where he's phasing through, and it does yes. actually translate really, really well with that. Mm. But you know, I, I did, I did really like this piece. I am a big fan of this, the sculpt actually in particular, and the paint. So let's go through it. Starting on the base, I mean, um, I'm, I'm not really sure what's going on on the base. Um, obviously, you've got the big kind of rubble, and then all the rocks and things, and then you've got this kind of um, hydra bit of tank, maybe. Is it a bit panel of tank? of something. And then you've got this uh, purple arch thing. Yeah. Um, I'm not really sure what's happening with the pace. I'm not going to lie. Because um, I, I know there was like a concept that uh, a licensed company did put out a long time ago where there was a doorway and he was coming through the doorway. Phasing through it, yeah. um, And I think Kota Pakir has done something very similar as well. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure about... What's happening there? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, and again, and again, the color choices. I mean, obviously, we've said before about how um, on some of the previous pieces we reviewed today. I don't know when this is going to come out in order, but we've said about the the color not being different, and uh, and the rocks and things all being the same color. These are different, but again, I don't know why what that arch and that purple this. color is. It, it's just it's a strange color. It is a very but weird colour. I've never. I, not, I don't think I've ever seen that colour before. Because it's, it's like it's not rock. No, I and think it's meant to be an not, arch of like a part of a building. And it's not metal. Um, Maybe it's metal. I don't know. Could be metal. Yeah. So, it looks like it's metal. To me, probably. it looks metal. Look, it's got yeah, rivets and yeah, things around yeah, the back yeah. of it. But I mean, other than that, I mean, like, yeah. I mean, again, I think this is meant I to be like some sort of like full like battle scene, like you know, it's sort of like yeah. But the thing is, is like you're saying, is it's it's kind of like got this asphalt situation going on here and rocks sort of sticking out of it, which is just not we call normal. It tarmac. We call it, I, I call it, yeah, I've been using your word. <laughs> yeah, we get American words. Tarmac, tarmac's fine, but it, they're sort of like tarmac going drive. into the tarmac, which yeah. is just a bit strange. This looks better because it's sitting on top of it. This is, it probably is a little too clean, this. It's got some paint battle damage on it, but it needed more. Because I think as well, if you're going to kind of phase um, here, you maybe would want like a tip of it sticking out there as well. To add you probably to could do, yeah, yeah, that would yeah, be a nice just idea. Rather than that'd be a nice yeah, idea. Yeah, Make yeah. it probably a, tight, a tad wide, but definitely like that idea where it sort of come across there. That's a nice idea. Just to show you, really, yeah, 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 that's a just nice Just to show idea. you the effect a bit better. Yeah, that's a yeah. nice idea. I mean, I obviously, like this is this is smart as well because this is probably uh, support to, to take the weight as well. Yeah, support. So to engineer it, it's a very strange piece as well when you get out of the box, you know, because. This leg is attached into here, right? So look, it's keyed from this leg. Oh wow, really? Yeah. So you yeah. take the cape, take the head off. This hand come, this sort of hand comes off. You take the cape off, and then you've got the figure, right? And it sort of you turn it, this part, the figure, out of the leg and lift it up. So this leg is completely connected, and then you attach it there, and it basically has its one, um, it's got its one point, and then this point of contact to help stabilize it. Very, very unique. So, so this is attached to this, and then this. Yes, I think so. And then there's a plug here. Yes. I assume, and then a plug here to, for the power to go. Yes. Through. Okay. Okay. Very unique sort of way of doing it. First time I've ever seen it. Mm. But um, yeah, I mean, really, really nice. And then you start going in 
to sort of the figure, which I think is probably the best part of this yeah, piece, yeah, easily. is the the fit the figure. This is like, as a vision piece goes. This is probably as good as it gets. I don't think I think this is the best vision out there. Um, it's got a really good contrast of sort of like colours. It's got a very matte and crinkled sort of leather look to the boots. Then it goes into this sort of almost um, sentient being sort of power um, grid line, sort of mm. strange on his trousers, but really good sculpt because it's not too thick. It's not too muscular in a sort of bulky way. It's a very athletic and very pleasing athletic. Yeah. Yeah. build. Um, you can you know you can see his groin. He's, he's got you know all of them sort of abductor muscles are in there firing and goes up to this again it breaks away again you see it's the way, the way the suit is done it's got smoothness and it's got textures then mm. you know yeah, it's got heavier texture really yeah it's good, really yeah. really well done and it's the same with the sort of build up across the body he's got a very athletic looking physique um, and he's got some nice length on his body too he, he's uh, it's an elegant physique he's a good physique I mean the way that he's uh you know, he is lean, and he is almost like like, a, like an Olympic swimmer or something like that. And he, he's done really well because, I mean, there are so many, um, especially the custom side, there's so many people that just think, like, I'm just going to juice the fuck out of this character. Yeah. And uh, he, he ain't a big juiced, juiced up character. I mean, he's obviously in very, very fucking good shape. I'd love to be in that kind of shape. But um, he's not, like, comic-wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not overdone. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. played. Um I do like, yeah, the the separation again, as you say, between the leather textures here, uh, the then the, uh, the the texture of the the grid lines there, and then you go into the smooth on his uh, little his little uh, tightly whities or tightly yellows, <laughs> uh, and then you go to kind of the belt there, and then back into this these textures here. Yeah, I really uh, like I really, really like cool. the torso, the torso with the long long oblique muscles mm. start up the side here, and he's got quite a big wide chest it's got quite a nice width on his chest it's not like very protruding from the front so his yeah. pectoralis um, minor uh, is quite like underdeveloped but the major is like really big so it's, it's spread across bicep tricep look great who sculpts his job is that Abby? Uh, no I think it might be it looks like it, I really dig like that part of it and I just find that there's these there's, there's this great um, almost like um, zigzag effect not a zigzag what's the right word you know uh, like a zebra crossing like the black and the white, the, the trans to transition. It seems to go that way. So if it, the face is a smooth texture, mm. then it goes s slightly textured, heavy textured, soft textured, heavy textured, heavier textured. See yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It seems to just move across it. When you look at it as a whole, your eyes get a real sort of treat with that because it you, you sort of like wander all over the place with it. And it's nice. Mm. I think the engineering is done really well on this. I mean, the way that uh, obviously um, kind of just Give it a little bit of a yeah, yeah. Oh, that's solid. Yeah, I don't know where. That's really solid. Okay, um, but yeah, the way that the the cape has been done, and they thought about it to add this part here to to rest it on there. And the other element of it as well is, I mean, it can easily be, and it does get done a lot, where they put elements in place, and you can tell that they're kind of an afterthought to add to the engineering. And it doesn't quite feel like that with this. It feels like it is, it is kind of meant to be there. Mm. As I say, the only thing they could have done to improve it is maybe just to add like a little nub coming out there. And you know, yeah. <laughs> go your way. Yeah, yeah, just just to have a little bit there, just so you get that kind of phase effect, and you can see it like you know you, you get the idea of it. Um, my favourite part of this is probably that hand. I do really like that hand. Good articulation, really, in it, isn't it? really, it's really nice. cool. Really well. Yeah, well, both hands are the articulation are great. The uh, expression in them are great. Isn't yeah, it? Are you really and uh, and again with the the face has done really. I really kind of well. like vision, but it's very hard to get a good one. You know, like the sideshow one is, is pretty nice, um, but obviously it's a te it's a, a textured cape and it's very small. I think it's it was, a really well, small piece. I think for me, because vision is such. Um, a character I'm not really that bothered about mm. that the the sideshow one would because, do the job for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had it. Why? See, it, for but, me, uh, this is like the perfect. One is like if you had like a group of Avengers shot, you could have him slightly behind because it's elevated. Yeah. Because it's actually quite a tall piece. Yeah. I don't know what height it is, but I would say it's like 27, 28 inches tall. Mm. Like, I do it's think it would be like the, the the cape here looks like it could be set in, set in a bit more. Yeah, I might not have pushed it okay. as far as I could though. I'm just looking at that there. And then also the And remember, collar. we're looking down. And well, looking this up. is probably the most unforgiving way to look at it because this is the way that you're not going to be looking. Yeah, you're See, I, be have looking, it, I have it low. You'll be looking like that. But, but you could have it high. But yeah, there's definitely... Also, from this angle as well, I mean, I know you complained about 
a few other pieces, but so I the probably, the collar I push that in, but I don't really want it. Yeah, the collar looks quite thick. Oh yeah, in 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 that this is them times. You gotta yeah, remember, yeah, this yeah. is about like this piece is probably about five years ago. This is like four or five years ago. This statue. The cape, so this is this is this is around the though. Fine. It's fine, but it is the, the, the casting is not though. The casting even on the cape, it's not it's not thin. No, but the the, the cape is not bad. But I'm oh, saying it's not the bad. collar is pretty. Thin. But this is the era mm. around when them capes started to. You know what I mean? That's what they look like. It's around yeah. that sort of time. Yeah. You know, around 2015, 2017, around that mark it is when they started to sort of get a little bit chunky, you know, and it has got that. And I think for a structural reason, it probably does because it helps hold it up. Sure. Oh no, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. But again, I mean, uh, if you're gonna have this on display, it goes nicely in the D-top as well. George has a D-top. I do, uh, yeah, bottom level. Other Avengers. And, uh, I have it with Thor. Next to Thor. And it's kind of like, again, similar kind of sizes. Mm. It, it, mm. It, it looks great there. Have it with the Spider-Man and, and the Iron Man. No, there's no switch outs for it with it now. Yeah, it's it comes like this, and then obviously you've got the light up function and all that. So, yeah. but yeah, if there is switch outs in the box, and I've never taken them out, <laughs> so I don't think there is though. Or, 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 or you probably could do a little bit of detailing on the soles. That would yeah. have been a nice little touch on there. Probably a little bit more crinkles and stuff into the cape, sculpt wise. But I mean, these are minor critiques for the time. You have to remember, it's very hard because we're sitting here in 2022 and we're judging a piece from maybe 2017, 2016. Yeah. Well, that's always the way when you, uh, when you go back over the older pieces. Even if you look back on some of our reviews, from, I mean, we've been reviewing now for about eight years. Jeez. Um, if you look back over some of the it's early fun, ones, uh, we'll be praising the pieces because it's relevant yeah. to the time. It is, exactly. It's what we've seen at the time. If you go back to them and to review them now, you know, you'll be a whole whole different. I've probably had this in my collection okay. about two and a half years. Yeah. Before we've, we've wouldn't got surprise to, me. Yeah. Wouldn't surprise me at all. I'm very happy with it. I mean, if you're after a vision, you know, Alpha Free some do some really good museum stuff as well. I really like the That's museum line. stuff's really good. Yeah, they, they're some good gear. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. you know, this is this is the this is the vision for me anyway. You know, pick this up and I haven't looked back really. I've not really looked at another one since. So very very happy with it. Mm. No, for sure. Um, I think that's a bit loose there. His hand. But. Yeah, moving there as well. But um, but no, do the usual guys. You like, comment, subscribe, share. Let us know if you've got the piece in your collection again. Uh, let us know if you would display this in your collection or what you would display it with. Um, yeah, is it? You know, the, again, when it comes to vision pieces, you're not spoiled for choices. Really, there's a couple of customs. There's, there's the, the sideshow one. That's it. There's a few that have come out recently. Um, you mean fan art ones? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but again... But in terms of like licensed statues, you've just got no, the one. There, there isn't any other quarter scale visions. Cobra Kiris. Well, Cobra Kiris. That's a nice one. And, and and Bowen did some nice ones, some, the phasing ones too. Yeah. They're quite rare. They're quite expensive to buy. But again, in quarter scale, you're pretty much, you're limited to choices really. You've got fan art and you've got, and most of the fan art, they kind of go more modern. They've gone a lot more modern than this. Yeah. This is more of a classic, which is what I wanted. Well, this is a classic with that kind of little modern sort of take or with the, the, the texture. Yeah, yeah. Because obviously if this was to be uh, more Bowen, uh, these will all be smooth. Yeah, everywhere. definitely. So, definitely, yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, thanks very much. Mad love to everybody. Peace. <laughs> said something quite mean the other day, right? And George, George heard it, it was accident. And I said, ah. Oh. Sometimes I just wish you were, you, you were dead. <laughs> Something to the dog. <laughs> and he went to me, would you get another one? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I probably would. I was like, oh, good, all right. I was just be like, oh. I was sitting there like, oh, this is not good. It's like, it's harsh. He doesn't do what he's told. Sometimes I just wish you would die. I wish you were dead. <laughs> would you get another dog? I was like, oh, no. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's, it's a big it's weird part of a building. Big though. weird fucking tractor tire. <laughs> I, I don't know if it is a tire. I think no, it's part it's of a building. It's like an arch. An arch of a building or something. It's just a weird color. Tra anyway, it is really under these lights. It looks even more it's purple. Strange than it does in my own collection. Okay. All right, gone.